185 again. What's up everyone, Kate here from MP Tennis. Hope you guys are having a great day. It's been a while since we uh, have posted. It's been nearly two weeks, but I've been extremely busy with the end of school, prom activities, grad activities, exams, and I even had a tournament this past weekend that went very well. I was able to capture the title. So super happy about that to start off the season, the summer season, sorry, right? Um, so super pumped about that, but we're back uh, to making some videos now. And today we are going to be talking about my heart rate monitor and how I use it. So in today's video, uh, we're going to be looking at me playing two on ones like we have in a past video. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, that video will be in the link below or in the corner above. Um, but we're going to be doing the same drills, but this time I'm going to be wearing a heart rate monitor to gather data to see uh, where my heart rate is in certain spots. Now, I always do wear this, but we thought it would be a great video to show you guys how my heart rate uh, changes throughout my playing. So I don't only wear it on the court. I also wear it when I... Um, do gym training, so when I lift weights or when I'm doing some cardio stuff in the gym. So my gym has like a partnership with these guys. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, but uh, they have like little competitions at the gym where I go to where you get points monthly. So that is where I got this. I got this at my gym and it's a MyZone heart rate monitor and they have, oh my God, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. They have five zones. So the gray zone is around 100 uh, beats per minute. Blue zone is around 120 for me at least. All these uh, zones are based on your height and weight, so everybody's zone is different. And then we have the green zone for me, which is around 140. Uh, yellow zone, which is around 160. And then red is 172 and I think up for me. So if you're in the red, you're pretty tired. So in the video, you guys will actually see my heart rate get to the 170s and I do get pretty tired. The day that we did film this, it was pretty hot out, so it's really neat to see um, how your heart rate can change just different days, like depending on the weather or how you feel. Like since that day was hot and I played tennis the day before pretty intensely, I was my heart rate was way more elevated at times compared to it would uh, if I hadn't played before and if it wasn't hot. So. Really interesting to see the different factors um, that weigh into to your heart rate. Now, I wear this around my chest like this. So it's just around my chest. And I also can, I have a strap that goes on my wrist and one that can go uh, on my, my arm. But yeah, super cool. Um, it's really good to gather data just to see how I'm making out. I'm actually gonna use this data that I recorded um, to show to my trainers and stuff at my gym. But once again, the heart rate is gonna be up in the corner and uh, it's gonna be like live with the training. So it's gonna be completely in sync, which is cool and I've never been able to do that before. So uh, let's jump into the, into the video and I hope you guys uh, enjoy. One thing I just forgot to mention there in the intro is that I won't be talking over the video like I am now. Um, when I'm hitting after every drill, I will come back with the camera and tell you how I'm feeling. But other than that, it's just that. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it and we'll see you guys at the end.
just finished a little bit of warm up. Let's go one on one now. We're gonna go two and two. If you watched our two on one practice, we're just doing the same thing, but we're doing the same thing with the heart rate so you can guys can see the heart rate data and stuff. So I'm in the green zone right now. My heart rate's about 136, but we're gonna go two and two. So once again, if you've seen our two on one video, you know exactly what we're doing. Okay guys, so we just finished the the uh, two and two. So the heart rate is a little bit more elevated there. I thought it was pretty good. Considering uh, sometimes I mess up during that one just because I'm trying to be consistent, but I was just at like 185, like 20 seconds ago. But now the heart rate is dropping, which is a good thing. So we're at like 155, so that's yellow zone. So you guys will see this next, these next two ones. Once again, if you've seen our two on one, go check that out because then you'll have a better understanding of what's happening. But the heart rate will be pretty elevated for these next two since it's going to be running more. So it'll be fun. It's really good for my conditioning.
I already was just at 190 when I went back. That's actually really hard. So, that's why I like this monitor because you can show me where where my peak heart rate is and it also shows me how fast I'm recovering. So right now I'd say I'm just average. I'm down to 173. So typically I'd like that to be a little lower, but it's going down a little faster now. So we're gonna do the same thing again. Yeah. 188. I'm really tired. So, normally when that happens, it's normal. Like my ball start kind of shorter. And it's warm out today. We haven't done this since. We haven't done it yet this summer. It's pretty, it's pretty warm up. So, I don't even know if you guys can understand me, but I'm tired. To keep that rally going, even if you play some balls that are out. It's gonna make you feel a lot better in the longer points. Just because of obvious reasons, right? You're going for a long period of time at high stress. So in that five, third set, five, five, you're gonna feel good. So that's why we're doing this. Line. Yeah. basically if you really do want to get in shape like I consider myself very fit but this drill gets me every single damn time seems like they're gonna be assholes make me do two more but it's okay alright here we go Again. Right. I'm gonna go take a little break on the bench and then we'll see you back for the next one. I think it's triangle of death, I think. But we'll see you in a second.
Yeah, heart rate's feeling a little bit better now. Had a little bit of a break and we are doing triangle of death. It's down to blue zone, which you guys will probably be able to see if we can get that on the video. It's 128, which is not bad. So below 130 before a point start, not bad for me. I'm really starting to feel it. If you haven't noticed, my feet are less active. Balls are landing a little shorter, missing some. 170-ish here. We're gonna go to the far forehand side now. So I think I got 109 points already, which is really good. That's good. I would talk to you guys, but I'm starting to feel really fatigued here. I don't normally feel this tired actually, but I think it's a combo of a long week last week and it's hot out and I played yesterday, but it's okay. All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, me dying out on court there a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I was pretty tired at some points and it was really cool to see that data, at least in my opinion. Now, we also have recorded um, a video of the same thing, but only me playing points. If you guys want to see that video, don't forget to, dis don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it's really interesting to see how my decision making um, is impacted by my heart rate and after training. So it is super cool to see that. Uh, I know I was pretty blown away at how my heart rate uh, impacted that stuff in my decision making. So really cool stuff. Subscribe if you want to see that. But that is going to be it for today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and we will catch you guys in the next one.